Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about underground wiring. Specifically, how deep an underground trench needs to be under a driveway area and then under a non-driveway area. So stick around and we'll show you. So we're just going to take the wire, gently pull down. The cord is pretty much melted together. So there we have our end, our finished end with our... So this is an electrical power conduit trench and we're running power into this new house that we're doing. So as you can see here, we have power running up the pole and the trench depth where we're under a driveway, because this is a vehicle area, is actually 36 inches to grade. So if you look at the bottom of the measuring tape, there's about six inches of red sifted sand in the bottom of this trench. You can see here, that goes on the bottom underneath the, uh, the cable and the conduit. Now the requirement for that is about three inches on the bottom and three inches on the top. So we actually have quite a bit here, which is about six inches. And then the rest of the sand is there ready to go in along with the burial tape. So basically we asked the excavator guy to dig it four feet because they never dig as deep as it's supposed to be. Um, it's extremely important to get underneath the driveway at 36 inches. Now if we're in a non-vehicle area, so if it's through a yard, then we only require here in Canada to be 18 inches um, or 450 millimeters. To do that conversion we actually need uh, three feet or 900 millimeters for a trench under a vehicle area and then uh, 450 millimeters in a non-vehicle area. Now you can also see that we need one foot of separation between our communications pipe, which runs up the pole there, to the top, and our power cable. So you can see we maintain our separation the whole way down the trench. Now what happens is, is after the inspection, the inspector's coming shortly, um, this gets another three to six inches of sand thrown over top of it. And then it gets backfilled up to within six inches to the top. And then we put burial tape down or caution tape. And then the final six inches of grade. Basically what that does is if anybody ever goes to dig here, they're gonna hit that burial tape first to let them know that there's a line underneath. Hey guys, so as you can see, we're filling the trench in now and we're laying this caution or burial tape six inches below the top of the surface. They've backfilled the trench, they put the sand in. I'll just show you along here. Um, over here in this corner where we've got the sand in. You can see the sand down there, probably a little more sand than we needed. Uh, we're only required to have three inches, that's more like seven or eight. But anyway, yeah, so the sand's in the trench, and uh, then the fill goes over that, and then this burial tape goes six inches down from the top, and then they do their final uh, filling over or leveling off, and that's the end of the trench. Okay guys, so that's basically it on underground wiring uh, for a trench for the depth. Hope you liked the video. If you want to see more on wiring, you can click up here in the corner. Or come on over to the website where all our videos are organized in a nice searchable fashion. Don't forget, never do your own electrical work. Always consult in your own local licensed electrician. And we'll see you guys on the next video.